Uh, hello, everybody. This is our first co-commentary video. Uh, myself being Michael Fox, or just Michael, that works. I'm Ryan. I'm Northern Lion. Yeah, yeah. I, I go straight with the, the Michael A.L. Fox or, or Mouth for He's short. He's more of a name guy. I don't want to be, I don't want anyone to be able to connect my internet presence with my real life. Uh, I, on the other hand, am just combining it all into one existence. It's like the difference between, like, you know, Superman. I'm, I'm kind of like the Superman, and you're more like... Wolverine? Wolverine, I guess, yeah. You're more of a Wolverine type of guy. Because that, that, that's really... Uh, I, I don't even know. Uh, that, I literally just said the first superhero type... I don't, I, think, I, I don't, I don't, I don't I think I don't think Wolverine really works actually. I th well, you know, I think it works. Okay, so well, I'm fine with that, but I'm not gonna do my hair up like his. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> so what what game are we playing today? Uh, we are playing Polar Escape, which uh, I heard uh, that that won a lot of honors in the Game of the Year awards. Yeah, it also won an Academy Award. It won an Academy Award. Yeah. Best female actress. Best female, yeah. I, I hate the best male actress category. Uh, apparently, all polar bears are female. Let's be honest, though. This this game is Frogger. This game is a straight-up Frogger clone with frogs that have morphed into polar bears. And it is and the year 2011, yeah, last time I checked. Instead of cars, actually, it's gone back in time. Instead of auto automotive, you know, motorized vehicles, we've gone to friggin' uh, Eskimo poachers. I think they prefer to be called Inuits. Inuits? Inuits. Okay. To be politically correct. For all the Inuits watching our videos today. Yeah, the population is just growing every day. Oh, and, dear God. Yeah. So, I mean, that... We're gonna talk a bit about the game, but not too much because it, it it's, it's Frogger. It's Frogger. <laughs> you know Frogger, if you, <laughs> especially if you've seen that one awesome episode of Seinfeld. Oh yes. The stands are trying to move the Frogger arcade game across. What is it? It's at least four four lanes of traffic in New York City. Hold on you know. here. Did we just? Is this Crisis? Like, is this Far Cry? Because the level of detail on this map. Is striking. No, 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 no. This is the prototype for Crisis 2. No way. Yeah, which yeah, apparently they're trying to push the the borders, the boundaries of first-person shooter. Not the not your typical Halo, Call of Duty. They're really trying to do something different. I like uh, the way they capture all of the colors of the Antarctic. The the blues, the purples. It's the turquoise is just mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of a lot of cyan. Yeah, and the, the I like how he plays with the, the font sizes and <laughs> and the, the different text. You've got the shore of the bear. Shore of the bear. Gray. Shore of the bear. And then you've got uh, the plains of mountains in a completely different color and text. It's just, it really, it's... It, it catches you off guard and it keeps you paying attention, which I admire greatly. Oh, it's... absolutely. Yeah, can I can I compliment the game briefly? Of course. I gotta say, you know what? Say what you will. Frame rate looks pretty good. Frame rate is a solid 90 frames per second at Nine least. frames. It's unprecedented mm -hmm. in video game. It's amazing with all this high You've level got... graphic. On the screen okay. at the same time. You've got uh, we've got the different I don't know what you, what you want to call them ice icebergs platforms what have you but there's a few different styles of them some seem like it's it's hard ice some they have kind of fluffy snow um, and then of course you've got the different different canoes that are unmanned there's a mm -hmm. yeah of course a lot of, a lot of those in the Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm digging the the polar bear sandwich when you die. That's pretty nice. Polar bear sandwich is nice. It's got me thinking though that uh, uh, one who actually okay. What when a, when a poacher do poachers actually poach 
polar bears. I know about seals and stuff like that, and you get the odd female or or freaking hippie hippie <laughs> loser that's all like, oh, hippie save loser. the seals. But I thought polar bears were really just dying from global warming, but this game it's introducing poachers as well. Poachers. Like, I wouldn't know, man. I only poach eggs. Oh my god, here we go. Quail <laughs> eggs or just regular chicken eggs? Polar bear eggs. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm all about the ostrich. You get more bang for mm, the buck. That's true. It's, it is very true. And plus, you have a, a beautiful lady over here at your house. Make her an ostrich egg omelet in the morning. Oh, she's coming back. Feed a family of ten. Yeah. <laughs> get her nice and plump. Yeah, yeah. More, more cushion for the pushing. More, more cushion for the pushing, indeed. Oh my God. So yeah, here we go on to the next stage. Al Gore is giving us some food. Now, I bet they really mix things up on stage two. Oh, a drastically different game. You, you, uh, you've got pink dinosaurs this pink, time. Pink dinosaur, yeah. Yeah, and of course the, the, the global warming air mass is it's moving north northward. At least we assume it's north because there are no compass rows. No, there are not. Uh, you know, the ma- it's a very ambiguous game. Just, mm. just keep you guessing at every every stage. I, I really admire it. It's really open-ended. Yes. It's like it's, a uh, Darren Aronofsky movie. Yeah, the, the free roaming as well. <laughs> I mean, look, it, we can go in any square. <laughs> yeah, <on this. laughs> that's true. You can literally roam free. Uh, now, you'll see up at the top that blue bar changes color. Uh, goes whoa, green, whoa, blue, really? and red. Yeah, and that's um, crazy. I, I, you know, the programming for them to make it so it changes color on the fly is pretty incredible. But that is actually a measure of the UV light damaging the polar bear. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I pretty... thought it, I thought it was a timer, but they've totally reinvented the wheel on this one. You would think that. I mean, really, it is a timer for the bear's life. That's for, for that's a deep the herd, the herd's life because collectively they are one. That's and some, you know, you, some Navajo shit right there. Yeah, you've got to sacrifice a few for the for the greater good, right? If you're gonna make an omelet, you gotta break a few polar bear eggs. <laughs> that's yeah, that's exactly what you just said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Now, what do you think that food actually is that these polar bears are seem so fascinated with? Uh, that's uh, lime jello. I, uh, you know, I will say this: lime and lemon products. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what it is, gelato, uh, little sucker candy, or what have you. Yeah. They always. That's my preference. It, it's a, a fruit that translates well. Yeah, because, I mean, depending on, on the amount of sugar you put in it, it, it could actually not be that unpleasant. So can we get a can we get a verdict on this game? The verdict is um, we're going to we're going to give it probably a zero out of what's what's our marker? Everything. Everything zero out of everything. Zero out of everything. Don't buy it. Don't even Don't look at it. Even for a dollar. So Literally, I think we might be one of the only people that ever play this game. And God that's willing. Good. So, yeah, you guys be thankful that we've done this. 